Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Jason, and you watch my channel, Micro Investor. So, in this video, we're going to talk about investing in the space race, and uh, I'm talking about the current space race. It's not done by the government. That is uh, Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin. So first, let's talk about the one that is actually currently a publicly traded company, and that is Virgin Galactic, ticker symbol SPCE. So Virgin Galactic is one of the hottest stocks out right now, and um, for no surprise, I mean, the stock itself has gone up uh, 220% in the last three months. So it's been, uh, it's been going on a pretty good ride here. Like, I originally thought that uh, Virgin Galactic was just some really expensive trip that people took in outer space, looked around for a minute, and then they came back to Earth and uh, just thought it was something for the ultra wealthy. But it was until I made a video talking about it uh, just a couple weeks ago that I saw there was actually a lot more to Virgin Galactic than w what I thought it was. I mean, this is a company that you're investing into not just for their space tourism, but also for the spaceship company itself, um, which can lead into things like um, the hypersonic travel and stuff like that. So there's there's more to it than than uh, what a lot of people think it actually is. One of the reasons why Virgin Galactic stock is up quite a bit is uh, they just transferred one of their spaceships from um, from the spaceship company in California to um, their operating base in New Mexico. So it's looking like things are getting closer to be ready for business. And look how cool this stuff is here. Look at the White Knight 2 carrying the spaceship to. That, right, that craft right there in the middle is the spaceship that disconnects, and that's what does the, um, the suborbital space tourism that they're gonna be doing. Now let's shift gears and talk about a company that isn't public yet, and that is uh, SpaceX Starlink. It's a program of SpaceX at Starlink. Uh, they're talking about possibly having an IPO. If you don't know what Starlink is, uh, that is uh, going to be uh, 11,000, 12,000 internet satellites in space. And Elon Musk is saying that this is going to net, you know, billions of, of uh, subscriber dollars every year. Now, obviously, this is going to be very expensive to pull off as they have to, you know, organize launching all these satellites and where they're going to be and how it's going to work. That, that thing crashes into each other. Um, so uh, that's something that they're looking to do here really soon, and they've already applied with the FCC. Uh, so we'll see how things play out with that one. Now, the cool thing about it is if this all works out right, that um, this Starlink is going to be, you know, internet anywhere. It's going to be, you know, unlimited Wi-Fi anywhere you go. You're never going to have any problems. Um, and it's going to be great for, you know, autonomous vehicles. That's why there's obviously a lot of interest with Elon Musk trying to get this out because these vehicles will always be connected to a network. And obviously, um, when we're thinking about like cell phones and, and data transfer and all that stuff, um, that's a pretty big business to be into. Back in 2016, SpaceX estimated that by 2025, uh, Starlink will have about 40 million subscribers generating 30 billion in annual revenue. And that actually comes out to $111 a month for the service. I did the math for that one. Now the budget that it's gonna cost to get Starlink up and running is kind of hazy, um, but, but some people are saying it's gonna cost about $10 billion. But Elon Musk, if you wanna take this thing public, I got your back, I will invest in it. So now let's talk about Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos controlled company. So Blue Origin opened up a new rocket production facility in Huntsville, Alabama. The manufacturing plant will make the powerful BE-3U and BE-4 engines. The BE-3 engine generates 110,000 pounds of thrust using liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen as fuel. And the BE-4 does uh, 540 50,000 pounds of thrust and also uses the natural liquid gases as well. And I heard someone say that the smoke that is coming out of these uh, engines that Blue Origin has is uh, actually not smoke. It's basically like a cloud. And as it goes up, it basically um, turns back, like turns into rain as it comes down, which is pretty cool if that is true. Um, someone let me know. At the moment, there isn't any sort of planned date when the Blue Origin IPO is going to happen. Uh, I was told before that it wasn't happening in 2019, but uh, obviously that didn't happen. So maybe here in 2020, we will see the Blue Origin IPO. 
So these companies are definitely something that I'm real interested in investing into. I mean, to me, this is like investing into the future. When like 10 years ago, when the availability came to invest in electric car and to invest in the Tesla, and you told your friends that you're investing into it and they probably thought you were crazy or you're wasting your money. And then 10 years later, that stock goes to like $900 a share. And uh, who's laughing now? Uh, anyways, that's kind of like my opinion with these. I, I really think that these things are going to go and become something much bigger. So um, we'll definitely see how it goes in the future. But it's something fun to invest into, in my opinion. So uh, that's why I like it as well. Uh, anyways, I'd like to know your guys' opinions on these uh, companies. Uh, is anybody out there investing into Virgin Galactic? Uh, I'd like to know, you know what you bought into and where you're at now, if you don't mind sharing that. Anyways, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. New videos coming on my channel all the time. And I also went to just over 900 subscribers. So thank you everybody for that. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.